Welcome back to your SIU Medicine Minute. Today we have Gail Jennings. She is a registered dietitian and diabetes educator. Gail, I'm so excited to have you on today. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. So the first question we have for Gail today is, what is the DASH diet? The DASH diet stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. It's not a fad diet. It's been around since the 1990s to help those with high blood pressure. And so let's talk about hypertension and high blood pressure. Those are two and the same. And how common is it? Well, the World Health Organization says there's over 1 billion people with high blood pressure around the world, and here in the United States, it's 1.2 million. Wow. And that's just adults. Those are huge numbers. Mm -hmm. And you know, the, a way to combat that is having a healthy diet, right? Absolutely. So what are ways people can change their diet that it's healthy and even long lasting? That's where the DASH diet comes in. And it looks at, um, it's an easy way to help people guide their eating habits. It doesn't require special recipes or going to a fancy grocery store. It's eating healthy foods that are available for everyone. Things like six to eight servings a day from the whole grains four to five servings from the fruits and four to five servings from the vegetable group, uh, six ounces of lean proteins, two to three servings a day from the heart healthy fats, and two to three servings from dairy each day, plus about four to five times a week some nuts or legumes. And so I want you to touch a little bit on stress and sleep. Do those things help us from getting high blood pressure. Oh, absolutely. Stress and sleep play a role. Um, actually, the um, Heart Association has a simple seven guidelines for heart health, and that includes not smoking, um, adequate sleep, uh, stress management, knowing your numbers for cholesterol and diabetes, and also getting an exercise, about 30 minutes a day of cardiovascular exercise five days a week. That's very important, and so, so many people are probably out there asking more questions or thinking of how overwhelming this could be, but there's a place for them to get more information. What is that? Sure, we have more information on the website for SIU Med, that's siumed.org, um, and as well, you can ask your primary care physician for a referral to a registered dietitian. All of these things are so important, especially during the today's climate where we're always asking questions. But lucky for you guys, we do have the Medicine Minutes. We have Gail. And thank you so much for watching SIU Medicine Minutes. The SIU Medicine Minute brought to you by SIU School of Medicine. For more information, visit our website at siumed.org.